All right, we're going to place the headlight bulbs, the OEM ones with these Osram H11s, Nightbreaker Unlimiteds, $43 on eBay. Set those off to the side. What we're going to be looking at is this little big turn knob down here. It's going to turn it. That comes out, and then inside we got the regular bulb. So you just want to pinch the gray, pull down. That comes unplugged, and then you just got to turn the bulb. There's the stock one. You can see a little bit different. They have blue. I'm just remembering the semi orientation. Let's stick it back in the hole. And we're at. Turn it until it stops. back in there and we'll grab the gray plug it's plugged in cap really doesn't have an orientation just there's four little tabs on it so just gotta make sure they start in the right tabs. And tighten it. That is the bulb. I don't believe there's gonna be any difference in color without the bulb on. I don't believe the blue is gonna come through the projector that much. Try it on really quick. See if we can see anything during the daytime. There we go. OEM one's a little bit more yellowish. Same thing over here. Pops out. We got the gray plug. Plug it out here. This was being somewhat of a pain. And you can see the difference, that little ridge inside there in between the two prongs on the H9s, that's not there. And then this little gray thing on top, the H9s don't have, which is what some say how they get their extra light output. But also, I believe H9s are also 65 watt or 60 watt.
this goes this fuse box from I'm right-handed and it makes it a little bit harder. There we go. There. Clip down. Let's go ahead and put the cover on. This is kind of tight because that o-ring kind of pulls it in and there we go new osram h11 is installed in a couple of minutes put these aside for safekeeping and that is it